I'm Jamie McDonald. Join me as we celebrate small businesses that make New York so unique. These New York Originals. Sporting goods stores. It's yet another business that's been gobbled up by the big box chain store. But up in the Bronx, there's one mom and pop sports shop that still thrives, giving customers more than just a great deal. It's Frank's Sports Shop. Frank's location in the Bronx is proof they must be doing something right. Located a bit out of the way on East Tremont Street, people come here from literally around the world. If you stay near the door, I will guarantee you, within five, 10 minutes, somebody will come in and say, my father brought me here, my grandfather brought me here, and I, my kid is right here. And I'll always go and shake the hands of the kid. I say, you're the most important thing. You're tomorrow's money. So I gotta be nice to you. <laughs> Mo Stern is the second generation owner, holding court in the middle of the store daily. His father, Frank, started the business in 1922, down on the Bowery in Manhattan. We had a magazine come in. He's gonna ask you one question. What do you attribute this success to? I had to think of it. I finally figured it out. All my competitors died. <laughs> the move from Manhattan to the Bronx was an unusual one but it worked. He heard that time that really tomorrow's world will be in the Bronx, that he should move to the Bronx. That's where we are today. 87 years, same location, same people. In the same dedication to selection, for Frank's prides itself on stocking obscure and hard to find items that chain stores ignore. In today's world, there's computers, there's all kinds of things over here. But what that ends up doing is killing marginal items in other words, with a computer, any chain can tell you that our best-selling shoes would be eight and a half, nine and 10. We don't need 15s, I don't need 16s, I don't need 17s. We carry shoes up to size 20. Maybe they're smarter than us. <laughs> they don't carry the inventories that we carry. Unusual shoe sizes aside, there are a few items here you probably never expect to see. Firearms and ammo. Franks has always had a full line of hunting and archery equipment. They even issue hunting and fishing licenses. There's no reason why we don't sell it. We don't kill people, and our customers don't kill people. I mean, if you want to figure out the odds of who's getting shot by who, it's not, it doesn't work out that the guy with the license is going to end up shooting somebody. Franks also sells uniforms to the NYPD, postal workers, and even the Boy Scouts. And like any good business, they know what keeps people coming back the most. Great prices. You know, I talk about markup. This is really, I have to say something about it. We don't mark goods up to mark goods down. We carry goods at a very, very competitive, and you can walk out knowing that you're doing the right thing. Lest we forget customer service. Many brag they have it, but Frank's means it. Their salespeople aren't just kids at an after-school job, rather career specialists, some of whom have been here for decades. Just one of the reasons even professional athletes shop here. Yankee Stadium even uses them in a pinch. I think maybe in Detroit, I forgot who it was that came in. I don't know, I don't remember who played. But what I know is we got a rush call from Yankee Stadium that it was a doubleheader, that the pitcher had their uniform. They lost to the after. So we had to sell our seamstress up from our factory up to Yankee Stadium to put the, see they carry extra, extra shirts, extra, to sew on, put the numbers on the uniform for them. We sent her up, she did the sewing. And unlike the Yankees, they have the names on the, on the backs of the shirts. The almighty, <laughs> he must have been looking out for that team because <clears throat> it was one of the lo longest games in history. I mean, it, was, it went on and on. And if it didn't go on and on, that pitcher would have gone on with half his name. <laughs> You're gonna run out of tape with me, I'm telling you right now. That's no, fine. you really? When Muhammad Ali came in, I, he was buying some stuff. I forgot what he's buying. But meanwhile, he comes in with a guard. Meanwhile, the guard is buying a shotgun. You know, he has a prejudice. So he said to the man, he says, if you don't finish in time the paperwork, I'm out the door. Because when Ali goes, I go. So anyway, <laughs> we work very quick. But Ali, but then we had to hold Ali here. So the, the, I got the kids, the kids were talking to me, and he gave him the rope of dope, and he was very, you know, 
was it was it was he was, he was good, but that was that was a tricky one to keep Bali long enough so he could we could finish the sale. <laughs> other other fighters have been here. As a matter of fact, we do their shorts, their boxing pants shorts. We monogram, put their name on it, you know. And depending on how good the fighter is, unless you want his name on the front or the back, because if he's laying down, he may want it on the back. <laughs> anyway, kidding. It's not surprising Mo has so many great stories, for he works some 60 hours a week with no thought of retiring. When are we going to retire? I got a wife that's going to tell me to take the garbage out? <laughs> this way we have a wonderful marriage. She doesn't see me and I don't argue with her. <laughs> but you do, you enjoy coming here. This is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 you know what it is? It's, it's not that much. It, it's the people that I see. These are people I've known for 30, 40 years. The, the hug and the kiss and how you're doing, what's happening, you know, it means a lot. It really, it really does. I, I mean, it, I, I can't describe it. It's, uh, it, it's something there. Now, internet shopping has been the killer of a lot of mom and pop stores, but Frank's has turned it into a positive. They have an extensive web store and offer mostly items they have in their store online. Mm -hmm. 